to welcome our online ministry to the campus of 844 Tech Road, right here in Sherwood, South Carolina. Give my hand clap, people. Hallelujah. I'm asking Elder Jack to bring me an ink pen for one minute. And while she's bringing me an ink pen, you all get your Bibles. And turn with me to the book of Psalms. Uh -huh. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Let me forget to read back this paper, okay? All right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Have your way, God. All right. The book of Psalms, 66 and 12. One short verse. Uh -huh. Rest to your feet. Yes, and I'm asking all of us to read this verse together in concert and in unison. Yes, when you have it, say amen. amen. Bless the Lord. Let's read. The Lord, for thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. 66 and 12. Y'all, what y'all gonna say? 66 six, 12. All right. Thou hast caused now, men to, to ride, ride over our heads. heads. We went through the fire and through water, but thou brought us out into a wealthy place. Tell your neighbor that's not how the story ends. That's not how the story ends. You may be seated. When my husband asked me to deliver the word for today, I asked the Lord, what would he have me to say? What would he have me to give unto this house? And as I asked God, I was led to give us a refresher course. Uh -huh. And I began to think about teachers in school when they go over curriculum. And how every now and then they go back and tell the students, we're going to have a refresher course. Yes. So today we're going to have a what? Refresher course. Amen. So we're going on. And then I heard within my spirit, open your mouths and help me. God is taking us, God is taking us to, our to our wealthy place. Our wealthy place. Yeah. Yeah, my shot. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is taking us to our wealthy place. And after I heard that, I began to say, hey you. Hey you. God is taking us yeah. to our wealthy place. Our wealthy. You must understand that God has a place for each one of us. Yes, he does. And it's called a wealthy place. Yes. It's not called a poor place. It's not called a pity place. But it's called a wealthy place. And this is where God is taking us. And I'm so thankful on today that God's wealthy place is not predicated upon the world's economy. Why I'm happy because God does not operate on man's economical system. But God has an economy that's rooted and grounded in heaven. You got to know where your economy is. God's economy is not based on the stock market. I don't hear y'all. It's not based on crypto and any of, any of those other exchanges that people are wrapped up in. They use the stock market to tell how the economy is going. The stock market can be good today and tomorrow it cannot be good. But one thing about God's economy, it doesn't change. All God be waiting on for us is to wake up and realize where his economy is. And when we realize where God's economy lies, we will be able to operate in a heavenly system. Hold on, children. I gotta hold on. My, 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 my. That's how man is used to something. Stock market go up today, they feel good. Stock market crash tomorrow, they having a heart attack. But I thank God I don't have heart attacks. I don't hear y'all. Because I'm operating on God's economical system, people. It's God, I want y'all to help me repeat this message topic again. Hey, you. Hey, you. God is taking us to our wealthy place. Now lay your hands on yourself and decree out. 
Self. God is taking me to my wealthy place. I don't care what you say, self. We all are our way. If we believe you on your way, clap them on and those hands and give God praise. God taking me to my wealthy place. Somebody might be saying, well, why'd she put that hay on there? You need to be online on Saturday night. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. We add the hay part because this is where we are prophetically on God's timetable. Yes. 5785. We are in a brand new hebraic year. Yes. Uh-huh. Y'all waiting on Pope Gregory 2025. But God already crossed us over yes. to 5785. And I'm glad about it. Anybody here glad? Y'all yes. looking funny already. It's too early to look funny. The hay is the number five in the Hebrew yes. language. And this letter means to look. Yes. Or behold. As in something to see or behold. This word hey is used to get people's attention. Uh -huh. And I tell the story, I believe I got it right. We went at Walmart in Chiraw. Yes. The lights were out. It uh -huh. was dark in the parking lot. Right. And we could not figure why it was so dark. Everybody kept walking back. After a while, Florence would have thought about the teaching. Yes. And Florence said, hey you. <laughs> the man stopped in his tracks. Tell your neighbor, God got to hang you. That's going to cause people to stop in their tracks. Yes. 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 And the man went on to say some things. Amen, amen, amen. So, it's going to be as in something shocking to see. Amen. But I come by for a little while to prophesy. There are going to be many people who will be shocked to see not only how you survive, they're going to be shocked to see how you thrive in this economy. Yeah. 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 Y'all hear me? Yeah. They're going to be shocked because not only did you survive, you thrive. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Some people are not going to make it. But because we got the word of God, we are going to make it. You are going to absolutely, resolutely be able to say, hey you, hey, you. God took me to my wealthy place. Yeah. I don't know where you dropped off that money, but I got on the bus called Wealthy Place. Yeah. Experience. 
experiencing what we call a setback. Yeah, I've been set back. Yeah, oh yeah. I've been set back many times in my life. I've been set back so much I had to sit there. I had to cry. I had to weep, but that's all right. Can I help you out? Your setback has been setting the stage for your greatest comeback that you ever seen.
He done wrong tested me inside and out. Amen. God done gave me an overhaul. God done changed my oil, changed them spark plug. God done gave me four brand new tires. But I've been wrong tested. Don't you know they don't put a car on the market until them cars are road tested? Those cars got to get out there, see how they been doing on the highway. See if they been holding up on the highway. And after the car pass the test, the car go. The car goes to the market. Tell your neighbor, I just went to the market. Saturate 
saturation. And when something is saturated, it means it can't contain anything else. The Bible's like, get them girls up here to start pouring water in this cup. After a while, it won't be able to hold nothing else. Tell your neighbor, God gonna bless me so I won't be able to hold it, people. Uh -huh. I 
the play. Can I prophesy? Yeah. I was sitting in the office with my notebook open and I wrote it in red. I heard the Lord say, some of you all get ready to have a passive income in addition to the income that you want for. Thanksgiving and 
praise. The songwriter is praising the Lord for taking them to their wealthy place. See, they already got in there and they're praising God for it. So what we're doing today, people, we are giving God a praise on credit. Yeah. We are giving God our advanced praise because we are on our way to our wealthy place. I need some radical people to give God a praise on credit. process. In this life, you will go through trials, afflictions, and persecution. Honey, you will go through the fire and the water, but on the other side, tell you, they go on the other side. Here's my wealthy place. I'm just waiting till I go through this fire. Yeah, I'm in some kind of battle right now, but I know on the other side, it's my wealthy place. You gotta know what's on the other side. Ask your man, what's on your other side? When we read that scripture, when I read the scripture a long time ago, I didn't have the full meaning. But after reading it carefully over a period of time, I realized that it was God who carried them, caused men to ride over their heads. Amen. It was God who caused these things to happen to the children of Israel. Sometimes everything happens. It's not the devil. That's right. Devil tell y'all he's lying on him. Uh -huh. Devil wants somebody to give him a break. Uh -huh. God will do certain things in our lives to have you get our attention. Want a Christian? Uh-huh. It's like uh-huh. Uh -huh. The ISV says you cause men to ride over our heads. Oh my God, you brought us through fire and water. But after that, the ISV said, you led us to abundance. Tell your neighbor, I'm on my way to abundance. I'm on my way to abundance. Y'all waiting to see what's going to happen in 2025. It's already happening right now. And let me put my disclaimer in here. So I'm going to say 45, soon to be 47. Got the anointing of Cyrus on his life. I said, well, God, if that's true, you said that it's going to be a wealth transfer. You didn't say, how we going to get the wealth? <laughs> so, if he got a Cyrus anointment, I'm going to get my wealth. Oh, 
over our head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that looked like a toe of defeat. Looked like the enemy had won the battle over us. Caused me to ride over our heads. At this point, God had given the enemy power and authority. Uh -huh. But I thank God, after we have gone through, after we have endured, you know what God will do? He'll pull back that power. He'll pull back that authority and say, let my children go. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Yeah. Lord, 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 I wish I had somebody. And it says, cause men to ride over our heads. As in a battle, as a conqueror, they conquered us. And said, they were laying prostrate on the ground. And men were just going over their head. Uh -huh. They don't know. When I'm laying prostrate on the ground, I'm getting information. Ha! I'm getting revelation. Yeah. I'm getting my strength. Yeah. I'm getting my power yeah. while I'm lying prostrate. Yeah. And honey, when I get up, yeah. oh, when I get up, yeah. oh, we're going to tell the story. Yeah. How God pulled us through. Yeah. Anybody going to help me tell the story? Yeah. were treated like slaves. Uh, they were beaten very badly. And they had a hard time working for the Egyptians. Yeah. Oh, Lord. But this time around, uh, oh, they were making the Egyptians rich by being out and doing what they do. Uh, but as I was reading and studying, uh, I heard the Lord say, uh, this time around, uh, you're going to work for yourself huh? this time around. Huh? Yeah. You're going to make your own self rich. Huh? Yeah. Somebody say, how am I going to do it? Well, I heard God say, huh? he's going to allow you to tap into huh? your creative ability. Huh? Yeah. And you're going to make yourself rich. Huh? Yeah. Hey, Lord, huh? tell your neighbor huh? the spirit yeah. of the entrepreneur. Huh? Yeah, and it felt like they couldn't take it anymore. 
more. I believe sometimes, church, when we go through, it feels like God has turned his back on us. Feel like we got it all mixed up. Feels like God, with his good self, got it all mixed up. Lord, have mercy. But I begin to heal. God say, the children of Israel, they did not know that God had a plan and a purpose for their lives. Do I have anybody here from the family of the children of Israel? Then I open my Bible and I turn to Job, excuse me, yeah, Jeremiah 29 and 11. Message Bible. Watch this, girls. Watch this, boys. He said, I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. I'm so glad that God knows what He's doing. God knows what it's all about. God got your life and God. Good. 